What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video about is she flirting or is she just being friendly? Because, you know, bitches be sending mixed signals and you don't get it. I mean, not saying you should get it, but it's just like confusing for you. So maybe, you know. What color is the microwave in the background? Yeah, all right. Bro, she knew what she was doing, bro. She knew what she was doing when she, she bought them things out. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Them things is nice. I appreciate you for wearing that top. You're going to approach because you think the bitch wants you and she's like, uh, what are you doing? We're just friends. Or sometimes you do not approach because you're thinking you're about to be rejected or you're thinking she just want to be your friend. And then she's like, damn, why is not approaching me? And then you're missing your shot. So today I'm going to tell you how to not miss your shot. It's 11 signs that she's actually flirting with you and she's not just being friendly. I am on 10 today. Uh, you probably already realize I'm already sweaty, but let's go. Number one, she runs into you a lot, a lot, like random places you see the bitch appearing. This is not the universe bringing the bitch around you. I am telling you, it is not. We are stalkers. We be stalking you if we like you so we can be in the same room as you. I know it sounds bad, but we do it. A lot of women do it. For example, uh, I like this dude. I saw him on Instagram long time ago. I don't do that shit no more. I saw him on Instagram and um, I saw what Jimmy was going to. I decided to go and join the fucking gym so I could be in his presence. And eventually, you know, I put myself in position. He ended up coming to talk to me. Yo, what she's saying is facts. It's facts. It's a lot of chick that like, I used to always see. I used to randomly just see in places. And then when I finally mustered up the, the courage to go talk to them, they'll hit me with the, it's about time, like, finally. And I'll be like, what, what you mean, finally? And she'll be like, yo, like, I've been waiting for you to try to talk to me. I never quite understood that. Like, if you like me, why don't you approach me? Like, why do you do all this extra nonsense so I can come talk to you? Yes, so we be doing that, or at bars or stuff like it's not a coincidence that you're out and about and when you and the team are pitching a new product grammarly's tone suggestions can offer a more personable approach to and then every time you turn around she's like closer to you and shit like it is not a coincidence we see you we come close so openly you're gonna come and talk also once you realize that we're here and you're talking to us we're gonna be so fucking engaged and oh yeah oh ooh, you know because we were already thirsty. We were already interested in you. Don't think. It's a fucking coincidence. Number two, she gives you signs that she is single. So for example, you guys are talking, right? And you're like, hey, what do you have planned for this weekend? A single girl is going to tell you, well, I don't have much. You know, I'm just going to be sitting around the house and with my dog or we're going to go for a hike. You get to talking to a girl and she get to hitting you with the, so what are you doing this weekend? That's one thing. Because a lot of times, female ain't really interested in what you're doing unless they're interested in doing something with you. Remember that. But if she hits you with some like, oh, I'm bored, you know, that's invitation for you to be like, oh, well, you know, we could do something. What you, what you trying to do? You feel me? Anytime a chick hits you with the I'm bored or like I don't have nothing planned, anytime a chick hits you with the I don't got nothing planned, that's an invitation for you to step in. She's basically inviting you to make plans with her she is not gonna mention a dude because there is no dude and another girl other girls might be even more like upfront with it because this one is just she's just telling you so you're gonna say well that's not enough of a sign a girl that goes out of her way to make sure that you know she don't got a dude she's like yeah well you know since me and my dude broke up a year ago yeah i've just been like living by myself you know she's gonna let you know that she don't got a dude and it works the other way around too. You know, you ask her, hey, what are you doing this weekend? And she's like, yeah, me and my boyfriend, we're going to go see his parents. She makes sure that you fucking know that she has a dude. And it's because she want to make sure that you don't approach her so she doesn't have to turn you down. But I'm telling you, a girl that is single, that is flirting with you, is going to make sure that you fucking know she's single. Number three, she accidentally, on purpose, touches you. Yes. Bitches are not going to touch you if they don't like you. I don't care what you're thinking. Not saying that as soon as she touches you, oh, I got to take her home. That's not what I'm saying either. But it is a sign that she's actually flirting. You know, you're making a joke and she's like, oh my God, stop teasing me. Oh my God, you're so funny. And she touches you while she's saying that. It is not 
a coincidence. She's touching you to let you know. I mean, maybe she don't even realize she's doing it, but I'm telling you, girls who are touching you, there is a little something. They actually like you. They want to feel on your fucking strong ass forearm, like, you know me, arms and veins, you know, so she want to touch or like you're teasing her and she's like, stop. And she hits you on the chest. I'm telling you, game over the bitch. I'm not going to say that because people are like, yeah, it's going to be sexual harassment, but no, but I'm telling you, she's flirting with you. She's pretty much interesting. Women are not going to touch you if they don't like you. Body language. I'm not no expert on women, okay? My biggest thing is conversation. But another thing, another one of my biggest things is body language. From a woman's body language, you could tell if she's feeling you or not. You know, she turns a certain way towards you. She hugs you a certain way. She laughing at all your jokes and she touch you when she laughing at your jokes. That's how you know, I right, yo, she feeling me. You feel me? If she not feeling you like that, she going she gonna to keep her distance. Sometimes she might not try to be rude, but she'll still keep her distance. And you could tell. Whenever you're carrying a conversation with anybody, it could be man or woman, pay attention to body language. Somebody could say whatever they want out their mouth, but their body language is going to say it all. You feel me? Their body language is going gonna, is gonna to snitch on them. I am telling you, women don't accidentally enter your space. They don't. It's deliberate. Big word for me. <laughs> Number four, she starts asking you deeper questions. A girl who is just nice is just going to stick to small talk and, uh, yeah, how was your day and this and that. But, you know, a girl that's actually interested in you, she's going to want to know more about you. She's going to know what you like. She's going to want to know your hobbies, your interests, your goals, ambitions, all of that shit. Like, we want to know your whole fucking life. We're going to ask about your family your parents, we're going to ask about everything about you. So if you see a girl and she's like really into like talking to you and not just like, oh yeah, the, the weather is nice. You know, she's really going in depth to get to know you. It's because she's trying to make a deeper connection to see actually if she really likes you. So it is a sign that she's actually flirting and that she's actually wants to date you. Number five, she tells you, sexual jokes or make sexual in windows like you already know at this point like a woman i don't know but i'm pretty sure a woman who makes sexual jokes is pretty much ready to go fucking home and fuck you like not saying you gotta take her she's obviously letting you know that she's not trying to be your friend and she might want to get fucked double check make sure that's what she wants but i'm telling you women who are just trying to be friendly don't really make sexual jokes like for what i'm just your friend why am i gonna make sexual jokes no i don't want you to see me like this so i'm gonna be proper and not talk about fucking sexual shit but the woman that goes out of her way to make sexual jokes and shit like yo she wants you she wants to put in your mind a little seed like yo if i fuck her she's gonna be like this and is that's what's gonna happen oh okay I could appreciate a female giving advice to men on women because it don't sound like that red pill nonsense. I'm going to be real with you. But she's right. If you're carrying a conversation with a chick and she asks you a question that extends the length of the conversation, then she's interested. You feel me? If all the questions she's asking you is extending the length of the conversation, she's interested. Like, I'll give you a prime example. I was talking to this girl. We got to the topic of me being from New York, right? And she was like, oh, you from New York? Did you, did you live with your parents? I was like, yeah, I lived with my pops and my stepmother. And then she asked me, oh, what about your biological mother? What, what happened? And I got to telling her, oh, my biological mother lives in the Caribbean. And I'm, you know, I get to tell her I'm Grenadian and this, that, and the third. And then we got to talking about, like, Grenadian culture. And, like, bro, before I knew it, son... A brief conversation that probably could have took 10 minutes, that shit took like an hour, bro. Before I knew it, we was just talking and we was just spilling and she was, she basically knew about me. And she was interested, like a Caribbean nigga. So she was interested in the fact that I was from another country. But I say all that to say what she's saying is right. Hey, you know, she's doing it on purpose. Number six, she stares at you. You know, like how sometimes you're in a room and you feel like it's burning and you're like, what the fuck, what the fuck? And then you look up, the bitch is like this. And you're like, uh, yes, uh, she's a weirdo. She's not a fucking widow. She likes you. She's trying to let you know that, yo, I'm over here, but she's trying to be discreet about it. So she might even like look away when you catch her. You didn't catch her because 
you were too fast and you're that good. You caught her because she wanted to be caught. So that you would bring your ass over there and talk to her. You know, she's like staying, staying for like a long ass time until you finally turn your head. And when you turn your head, she's like, yeah, bitch, we saw you. We know what you're doing and you guys should know what she's doing. She's flirting and she wants you to come and talk to her. It is not, again, a fucking coincidence. And if you're not sure, don't go right away. Wait a little bit. Go the maybe the third time you catch her. You catch her three times. There's no questions. She wants you. All right, so we've come to the end of the video. Um, The way I'll summarize this is that, ladies, please stop playing these games. If you see something you want, go after it. Okay? I don't think any dude would be apprehensive of a female stepping to him. Approach me. Well, don't approach me. I'm married. But, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Don't be scared to approach men. We don't bite. We lick, but we don't bite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> this is the video.